All right, last one of these for the season. It is Electric Cup. My name's Fish from Pallet Town PvP, and we're going to take a look at the basics of the Electric Cup. In normally, we allow six minutes for these. I don't know if it'll take that long. We'll see. Basically, what we do is we uh, group all of the relevant Pokemon in a meta into roles, to, so we can kind of cover as many Pokemon as we can in a small space of time. For this meta, we don't have to do that. We can just go through all the Pokemon that are relevant. Literally every species of Pokemon that's relevant. Um, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, every time a new restricted meta comes into Go Battle League, we do one of these uh, short form videos so you can get the ball rolling and doing your own research. We also do a complete breakdown where we go in depth into all the different matchups and like explore everything you need to know about them um we live stream that every this season it's been thursday night us time if you want to check out the vod for this uh meta then you can check the link in the description or you can click up here in the meantime here's your basics and here is the pokemon that are relevant in the cup ready lantern minan luxray galvantula magnezone Hesuian Electrode, Alolan Graveler, and Alolan Golem. That's it. That's all eight. You might, uh, depending on, you know, how spicy people want to get or what rank you're at, you might see like a Wayward Electrode or a Wayward, like Kento Electrode or a Wayward Ampharos. Um, but there's 95% of the Pokemon you encounter will be one of those eight or th three of those eight. So let's go through each one individually. Lantern stands out already because of its bulk where electric types are just so glassy. They can't really take a hit. Lantern is the exception to that. It's very bulky, with Minan being a distant second. It also is able to spam very consistent non-resisted damage with Water Gun and Surf. It basically has so much play against everything except Hisuian Electrode, which we'll get to. Minan has Grass Knot, so it can threaten the Lantern. And it is relatively bulky too. It's like the second bulkiest thing in the cup, relevant thing in the cup. Um, it does have Swift. Don't use Swift. Swift is awful. You do more damage with Discharge Resisted than you can do throwing a Swift. And you get the bait potential with Discharge. And then Quick Attack as your fast move. Luxray, Shadow Luxray specifically with Hidden Power Ground type is kind of like a cheat code for this cup because it's super effective against almost everything in the cup. But keep in mind that if that, that each Pokemon can only have one Hidden Power Ground. So if you've got a Shadow Luxray and you're like, oh, it's got Hidden Power flying right now, don't bother TMing because it like every time it comes back around to Hidden Power, it's going to be flying again, unfortunately. Galvantula, which is running a weird moveset in, the, in this cup, which is Fury Cutter and Energy Ball. And we actually are thinking maybe Cross Poison might be better than Lunge just because it's 10 less energy, so it gives better baiting potential. And you also still beat the Hisuian Electrode with that move, uh, which we'll get to a bit more later. Magnezone is the big difference between this time Electric Cup is in the, the rotation versus last time because of that addition of Volt Switch, that it's made it quite a big difference. Like, it can beat a lot of those meta-relevant Pokemon without even needing to bait with a Mirror Shot uh, as well. Even though those Volt Switches are resisted, it, it can also come out of that with a fair amount of energy. So, uh, Magnezone's, like, uh, one of the few things that can core break, or was it, like a Lantern, whoops, like a Lantern and a Lolan Graveler Core or something like that. Um... <laughs> You got Hisuian Electrode, which is just an absolute wall to a Lantern. It just, there's so little play that a Lantern has against that, the Hisuian Electrode, throwing those uh, energy balls in seven, then six, 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 six Thundershocks, right? Uh, then you've got your Alolan Rocks, and it says Volt Switch here. I think all the other ones it recommends Rock Throw. Yeah, de definitely use Rock Throw because it's getting all the same wins with Rock Throw. Uh, Volt Switch is resisted. And also, you can two shield your way through a Hisuian Electrode uh, with Rock Throw, right? And so I think the two shields is interesting. Normally, we default to the one shields with these metas because it's it's just like a default. It's, it's hard to find the time to sim every possible shield scenario with all of these different Pokemon, right? So we kind of default to the one shields just to say, yep, this Pokemon beats this Pokemon. Um, I think the two shields is really interesting here. Like I said, 
the Hasirian Electrode will really threaten the Alolan Rocks, but in the two shields, the Alolan Rocks can flip that. And then you've got, uh, like, Lantern can overcome, uh, like, a, a Galvantula with a bit of an energy lead and, you know, two shields. You've got... Or if the... I think if the Galvantula is trying to throw a straight energy ball, it, it will lose in the two shields. So uh, the Galvantula has to bait at least once. And you've got... Uh, oh, what was the other one I was going to look at? It was oh, Shadow Luxray with that hidden power. With two shields, it can just mow down ev everything, basically. And that's that's it. That's all you need to know. There's those those hard counter situations. Uh, Searing Electrode into Lantern and the Alolan Rocks. Lantern into the Alolan Rocks is a hard counter. Galvantula into Searing Electrode is a hard counter. And then also beats your Lantern. So there's a lot of that interplay and a lot of very hard matchups. So... Hopefully this helps. Um, may the leads be in your favor. <laughs>